Hello, welcome back to, I say another Petroblog video, but it's been what, four, five, maybe even six weeks since the last update. Um, I won't bore you with the reasons, um, but um, we're here now and um, all is good in the world, um, unless you are a Safran tire, in which case all is pretty poor in the world. But I thought I'd give you a quick update on where we are with the beer money Safran. Um, one of the reasons why I haven't updated you is there hasn't been much to update. Um, the most significant news really was a, receiving a pair of photographs um, from Rob, the previous owner of the car, in better times, in happier times, mixing it with French tap in the south of France, um, bike rack on the back, and if you look very closely on one of the, st on the, one of the pictures, you can see the original um, C France sticker. Um, so, yeah, there's a bit of encouragement, a bit of motivation to get the car done. Um, but funds were running low for the for the fleet, so I managed to sell uh, two the two leather seats from the Corrado. I had no idea how much they were worth, so I put them on for a hundred pound each, and they sold eventually for two hundred and sixty-seven pounds. So I, I've got no idea if that's a good price, um, but it's money that's being spent on the fleet, which means that things are moving again, or not, if that's the case may be on the. On the Safran. So yeah, I'm going to give you a very, very quick update on on where things are on this nice sunny day, a rare sunny day. A bit of a recap for anyone who's new to the channel. Um, thank you for dropping by. Um, this is the Beer Money Safran. This is the second Safran on the fleet. And unlike the other Safran, which is in full working order with a fresh, M well, it was a fresh MOT, a relatively new MOT. This one is, um, well, it's been off the road for 12 years. It's been um, parked up for 12 years outside, uh, in, outside the house in North London. Um, and it's, <laughs> and these have flown down to the Southwest. It's arrived in the Southwest to live again. Um, and I'll post a link at the top. How do they do it normally? They say that's something like that. I'll post a link up there to the, um, to the will it start video. Spoiler alert, it did start. Um, but that was kind of the, the end of the positivity, if you like. Things have been a little less, a little less positive since then. Um, so with the money from the seats, from the Corrado seats, I invested in some fluids and some pads and some discs. And um, with the help of Adam White, we started on the brakes, on the front brakes. Um, and more good news, I suppose, to start off with, because we found more evidence of original Renault parts. The, the pads were genuine Renault. They, would, they had seen better days. Um, they weren't long for this world. Um, but they were original Renault pads, which is encouraging because we found lots of evidence of that beneath the engine bay as well, lots of Renault parts. So, as I said in a previous video, or a video maybe two or three previous videos ago, um, she'd been serviced by the same dealer for most of her life, and it looks like that, that dealer had used good parts. So that was encouraging. Unfortunately, I couldn't get hold of any discs, front discs for the Safran, so we only did the pads. The discs... This, I think, would probably get an advisory on an MOT, but given that she's not going for an MOT this side of the end of October, I'm going to get some discs sent down um, and get those done at the same time. So the pads are done. Discs aren't done, um, but that's, like I say, front discs will be done at some other point. Um, then went round to the other side to do the other brake discs. Well, actually, why don't I just walk round there to rather than, rather than focus on the wrong, the wrong wheel. Then went round to this side. It's also suffering from flat tire syndrome, very flat tire syndrome. Um, curious, well not curiously, comically, the other the other tire won't take any air anymore. So um, it has quite literally retired. Boom boom. Um, yeah, so new pads on this side as well. Uh, this one also needs on this side. It needs a new um, track rod end um, boot. Um, so tiny job but that'll be done as and when uh, when I put the discs on probably um, so we didn't get round to doing the front disc the rear discs and rear pads for, for reasons why well, I can't want to now um, as you uh, regular viewers of the channel will know that there are two big issues well one let's say one big issue with this car which is the automatic warning light or more specifically the fact that the, the automatic transmission is in safe mode and as anyone of this era of Renault's will testify Certainly on the pre-facelift, the uh, Safran. Just notice, look, that is 
it's like it's like a British tourist in Spain peeling as it sits by the pool, twisting by the pool, as Mark Knopfler would say. Um, yeah, look at that. I need some Joe Hart, some down, anti dandruff shampoo for the bonnet. It's that sort of bleached in the sun. I'm digressing, as is normal, as is customary for this channel. Um, yes, yeah, so the, as the air attack warning man says, the automatic transmission is operating in safe mode. So, which means, I think it means it's stuck in third. I don't know, some of you, again, some of my helpful commenters will um, correct me on that, but it's definitely stuck in a gear. So anyway, I'm, I'm digressing. So what we did, changed, we're kind of hopeful that changing the fluid would, would sort it. The fluid was very old, it looked like it was the original fluid. Um, so we invested in some new sump uh, plugs, sump plug sockets, and managed to get the old like automatic fluid out and put a new set of a new set some new fluid in so that's now so the transmission's now got fresh fluid um, which is good unfortunately the the air attack warning man is still saying there's a problem so the next best scenario is it's a sensor or one of the sensors because there are three sensors on the transmission so we'll be investing in these sensors um, to find out if that is the problem if it is, brilliant. If it's not, well, you know, it, it could be terminal because, you know, this, that one, it's, the big, it's the biggest problem on this car because the engine runs sweet. We've had the engine running again and it is running really sweetly. It ticks over beautifully. All oh, well, the smoke's cleared now from when we've done the oil change and she is running nicely. Although she's not running left or right or, or moving forward or backwards, she does tick over nicely. Um, so yeah, that's, that is a big problem. So she's still got the air attack warning man telling me that the automatic transmission fluid or the automatic transmission is faulty. The other problem we had is that she got very hot very quickly. Well, not very quickly, actually. It's good, good sort of 15, 20 minutes. But by, by that time, the um, temperature gauge went into the, almost the red and it told me to turn off the engine. Um, so we did that. The fans are working fine. Um, so, and I think, well, I've ordered a new um, thermostat. So there's a thermostat on the way. And I think, as we said previously, and I know a couple of people have backed this up in the comments, that it probably is a thermostat that needs to be, needs to be changed. So that will be done and hopefully cure that problem. And also the, um, the air attack warning man, I don't know if it was doing this originally, but it's now saying that the air conditioning system uh, isn't working. <laughs> um, and, then we, and again, that is a big problem on these cars. It's a dashboard out job. Um, but you know what? I can probably live with that if, the, if I can get it through an MOT. If I, can, I mean, the, the most critical thing for me at the moment is to get that transmission working because without the transmission, this car's not going anywhere. I can live with no air conditioning. I can live with no blowers and heaters if I have to. Um, just want to get this car moving. So I'm kind of in, in limbo land at the moment. Um, I, don't want to, I don't want to invest in new tyres if this car is going to be sat for the next six months pondering um there's no point uh, i certainly don't want to send the wheels off for be to be refurbished because it all could be in vain and however much i want to see these wheels looking good again so it's it, to, to quote paula abdul it's kind of two steps forward two steps back again um small progress um but i guess i try not to be too disheartened because it was going so well and i was so, so almost euphoric when she started and when she was moving under her own steam. And even when I drove a quarter of a mile up the track, she was running really nicely, albeit in, in a single single gear. Um, so yeah, I guess I guess it's frustrating. I, 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 suppose, I suppose we shouldn't be expect too much from her too quickly. Um, she will live again. It just might take a bit longer. Um, and I, I have to say there was this moment when I pulled, I pulled the black one up alongside her when we were working on, um, I know, a couple of weeks ago, and I thought, I looked at my black one, I thought, this is such a lovely car. Why am I wasting my time on one when I've got such a beautiful one next door to her? Um, but then, then I went back to actually why we did this in the first place and what this channel's all about, really, and what Petrol Blog's all about. It is about saving French tat from obscurity. And um, this does offer something different, and I do love this car, and I do want to see it living again. Uh, it just might not happen that quickly. But it will do with your support and with your encouragement and um, with my well the bucket load of self-confidence which was lacking over the last 
four or five weeks, um, it will happen again. So, so that's it. It's kind of not much to say, not much, to, well, not much to report. Not enough to report, I guess. I suppose that's the thing. But I, I kind of figured that there's a, lot of, there's a lot of rubbish on the internet anyway. So a little bit more is not going to help, not going to harm anybody. Um, so that's, that's the update on the beer money Safran. Two steps forward, two steps back. As, um, was it MC, MC Scat Cat? Something weird like that. Did he say that? Uh, somebody again will correct me if I'm wrong, which is, let's face it, a common occurrence. Uh, what else can I say? Yes, for, uh, thank you to Scotty Holmes for signing up to Club Petra Blog. The, uh, you are the only person who signed up since the last video, so thank you for that. Um, in the next video, I'll give you an update on where we are with the 406 Coupe. I'll give you an update on Elaine Beige. And maybe, if I can, if I get my head around it, we'll do a road test video on the Zara VTS, if there's any interest. And, and then after that, I'll be starting work on her. Lots to do on her, which again, I'll explain in the next video. But that's it. Um, hopefully this video will see the light of day. Um, if it's any good, I will, well, if it's half decent, I will publish it later. Thank you for watching. Stay safe.